Hello, guys. So I'm here together with my sister. Abigail. Abigail. Yeah. So guys, you know what? Abigail has been uh, my classmate for the past four years at UCC. We read the same program, Agribusiness at UCC. And guess what? Because of our surname, yeah? We've been in the same group. Like, every <laughs> presentation, you find Abigail and I. So, like, you know, we all share the same, like, course, knowledge, and everything all together. And even doing presentation. exams. Presentation. Presentation, as I'm sure, you know, you're one of me. I'm 40. I'm 40. I'm 40. So, guys, like, you know, that vibe is still there. And we are currently in Canada together. So, I'm currently in, uh, studying, uh, or pursuing my master's at the University of Manitoba. And specifically, I'm reading a uh, master's in agribusiness and agriculture economics. What are you reading? Okay, so I'm also at U of A. Of I'm at U of A, University of Alberta, and I'm reading master's in agricultural resource economics. Good. So, um, it is true that the program we read at UCC that has landed, landed us here. Mm -hmm. So she's reading uh, Masters of Agricultural Resources Economics, right? And I'm also reading Masters in Agribusiness and Agricultural Economics. So he is in um, um, Alberta province. She is in Alberta province, and I'm in uh, Manitoba province. So she came for a conference here in Winnipeg. And I was like, Charlie, my bad, yeah, I'll say about Chrome. Now you Chrome, Kakra. So I'll be, let's talk. So, how do you see the program so far? Oh, it's good. Yeah. Okay. So far, it has been good. Um, giving me more opportunity to meet more people and learn more from other, and also meeting more international students, getting to know other culture, and even aside the um, outside school program, um, you get the opportunity to explore more and learn more from the professors. Some have been really nice, for instance, like my professor, she's really nice, yeah. Okay. So I like the program. Alright, so let me ask you that, uh, in case one is watching us, maybe that person is reading the BSc Agribusiness or BSc Economics and all that. What are some of the main requirements needed for one to be able to secure admission at the University of Alberta to read agricultural and uh, agricultural resource economics okay so one you must be able to graduate your undergrad and must have um, a minimum of a cdp of 3.0 that's when you qualify for application for u of a um university of alberta so the program you must have a cdp of 3.0 and above yeah and there are a lot of scholarship at U of A. That's funding, it. yeah, oh. very. Oh, so wow. and yeah, so there are a lot of funding at U of A. All that you need is to be able to meet their requirements. Um, for instance, um, every department and its requirements. For instance, like my department, you don't need the right the other English proficiency. You just need your school proficiency. That's the uh, work export. The ones that they give to us at UCC, the English proficiency yeah, letter. Yeah, 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 you just need that, and then you must be able to have meet their minimum grade requirements, and then that's all. You just have to write um, your research interest, and one thing I, I think you just have to be able to make sense in your research. Um, your research interest. Okay, so yeah, with your program they have research base and thesis base, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you decide on the one two. No, you don't decide. So automatically, you will say when you get admission. Um, the program is to for my department. We have the the masters in resource economics, which comes with funding. So as soon as you get admission for that program. You get uh, it's automatic fa funded. funded. Oh yeah. my god, full funded. Full funded. Oh my yeah. god. So and it's a research prog uh, program. So you have to do first year um, coursework and the second year you have to do your research. Oh, yeah. Okay. But the other one, which is the agri, it's kind of agri business, but it's one year program. It doesn't come with funding. Oh, okay. You have to fund yourself and you have to finish within a year. But sometimes, if you are fortunate. You accept that offer and pay your tuition as you are still enrolling on the program. They sometimes give um, um, opportunities to students to be graduate research assistants or TA to support okay. themselves to pay their tuition. 
Okay, yeah. So that's basically. All right. So briefly, um, with my program, master, uh, masters in agri business and agriculture economics. Yeah, it's kind of like we say. She was saying uh, we have both um, the research base and the comprehensive base. Yeah. Right. So when you are admitted, for example, for the first year, you're going to do a lot of courses. But during the second year, that's where you'll be asked whether you want to do thesis or you want to do that comprehensive that's like you know you want to go into the field of business and all that yeah so yes. one thing for us we don't have that option when you okay. get the fully funded one the first year is mainly for coursework okay and the second one the second year you have to teach for okay, so, you this okay. so you can choose to take a course for your own um good or for your Benefits. own benefits uh, okay. yeah so it's that that's how it's, it's only it's solely pieces, pieces that's the program. Thing, yeah. but for mine like you can you have the opportunity to so for mine like you have the liberty to choose in between the comprehensive or the thesis so i chose the comprehensive because maybe pesca we perceive you know copy industry so i decided not to uh, do the thesis yeah but i have other colleagues who are doing the thesis so because they want to do their phd become a professor and all that but i don't want to go into the academia i want to go into the business for so i chose the comprehensive for, so for the investor manitobas agri masters in agri business and agriculture economics you are not restricted to do thesis if you prefer the comprehensive but for hers once you are given that funding i'm not scanning one year <laughs> you have to prepare for the thesis okay so uh, uh, what, what would what be your final advice to for young ones in ghana reading agri business reading uh, uh, economics and all that who would like to come and pursue your program but before that let me ask you um it can someone reading uh i got uh, cultural science um be admitted in the program i got your science few are great so we have um um i don't know i don't really know the exact but beyond that um list alice that's the faculty name okay. so we have the science okay. and then we have the forestries okay. my department is economics so i don't know much about that side that so if you are interested in that uh, purely agriculture or science or whatever you can search and see their requirement because i know they did that food uh, nutrition, food nutrition yeah nutrition those kind of programs yeah. okay but for agriculture versus economics a, a, a pure agriculture student cannot no, uh, you know, apply for that. No, you it wouldn't is, meet the requirement meet the because requirement. you you need um, more of economics, more of economics, more of mathematics, mass, yeah. yeah, like solely mass. You, solely mass. Yeah, you yeah. should be good at mass yeah. and pure economics. Yeah. So if you are someone <laughs> who is not good in calculus, <laughs> differentiation, chale, I see a version. I don't. <laughs> Yeah, so funny. as she's saying for that program you have to read you have, you have to someone who is reading a uh, pure economics let's say like our brothers and sisters in ghana reading economics bsc economics right or it should be someone reading agri business and agriculture economics or someone reading mathematics good but for my program similar to hers Pure agriculture students cannot apply for masters in agribusiness and agriculture economics at the University of Manitoba. They also need people with that background, uh, a mathematics background and economics background. If you are someone who has uh, who read mathematics here, yeah, together with agriculture, but have less character words for the mathematics, with my program, okay, they can admit you to the pre-masters. Listen, listen to this carefully. My program has masters in agribusiness and agriculture economics, and they again have pre-math pre-masters or pre-masters in agribusiness and agriculture economics so this master's program is specifically for those the department think they have the potential maybe they will read through your trash they will like okay this guy is good this guy did mathematics but the credit hours or the interpreter hours that he needed is not up to the total number of talent they want so they will admit you to the, that pre-masters thing so you come and read that pre-masters for one year and they are expecting you to do very well within that one year grace period yeah before they promote you to come and read the main masters in agri business and agriculture economics and trust me with my program as well they do give full funding all right they do give full uh, funding to students they've admitted so both of us are on you know scholarship or let's say funding and all that that we are all enjoying all right so i will entreat all of all of my fellow Ghanaians or nigerians watching this video to also try their possible best if you have mass, uh, mass background or economics background please 
feel free to apply for these two programs and rest assured that you get funding that you need to cater for yourself whilst in Canada. So what are your final words? Yeah, so if you don't try, we didn't know. Yeah. So what I would say is that if you get a chance, if you think you meet the requirements, you have a better CGP, even if you don't have, try as much as possible and apply for schools, especially U of A and Manitoba. Yeah, and surely you'll get a funding and it will really help you because it's really helping me. I'm relying on the same funding for my accommodation, my tuition and everything. It's a really good program. Okay. Yeah. So what's your social media handle? Maybe some of you like to you follow you and all that. TikTok, what's your TikTok name? Abigail 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 Okay. <laughs> all right, guys, so it was nice meeting her. Like I said, she has been my classmate since uh, school days, like uh, back in UCC. Yeah, so it's nice meeting her tonight. And bye. Please, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, can you subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more educational videos like this? Yeah? If you've not followed me on TikTok, please follow me on TikTok. Stay tuned for my next video to be uploaded on my YouTube channel. Bye.